If I told you that I had had thousands and thousands of people tell me through my lifetime, when I've told them I'm a carpenter, that I make things out of wood, they say, oh, I can't saw to a straight line. So often that happens that I feel like I have to do something about it. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to saw a straight line. If you take a square like this and set the distance like this, or you can use a gauge, pull a line down here, whoops, like this, so that it's parallel to the edge. Yeah, it's sticking on the wood. Flip it over and do the same from the other side because we're gonna cut this stick into two. That's the goal and we want, them, we want it to be nice and straight. And of course, when you're using a saw, there might not be any guarantees. Upend it like this. Of course, you might be doing this on saw horses. You could be doing this on a table, a picnic table or whatever. So there I'm connecting the two lines one side to the other. Watch what happens here. I'm going to put my thumb on the, on the piece of wood and pull my three fingers against my upper body. And then I slide the saw up against the line. Like this. And I go down. Like that. Now remember, the first 10 strokes are going to set the course for the whole saw. So we've got to be conscious of that when we start sawing. Tilt it like this. Watch what happens. I use that saw curve to keep me square. Now I use my eye along the side of that line. And I start sawing to the line. just so I can see that line. Now this is perfectly parallel, it's going really well. I'm gonna check this side and see how well it's going this side. It's going well this side, but I can see I'm cutting slightly in towards the line and I want to cut parallel to it. So I correct it here. And how I do that is I bend the saw slightly and bring it to this side. Like this. And if I keep turning this piece of wood around like this, remembering which side of the line to saw on, I'm going parallel to the line. It's working perfectly. I go all the way down the stick this way. But that's not really helping you because it doesn't always go perfectly straight what to do, this is the problem. Sometimes we're not used to sewing and we start sewing away from the line or into the line. So if I start sewing away from the line like this, uh-oh, suddenly I start to panic. This saw is useless, it doesn't work well. Why am I doing this? I should use a machine. Well, that's not the case. What you have to do is go back up with the saw up to where you started to go wrong. Go back up here and hold the saw front and back and make the correction using the sides of the teeth to correct you yourself and get back on track. So we're back on track, turn the saw around, work from both faces like this. The other thing is you've got to get this elbow, this shoulder and this hand in alignment with that piece of wood. And you've also got to get your eye in sight too. So we're aligning our whole body according to what we have here. And suddenly we're straight again, we're back on track. So don't forget you use the tip of the saw to push this side and just work it this way until you're back on track. And that's how you saw straight using a hand saw in a rip grain, a rip cut pattern. Now here I'm going into the line, so I'm actually on the line, so I've got to go back up here, bring this back down here. And now I'm on the right side of the line again. And keep turning it around till you get to the other end of the stick of wood and you will have a reasonably 
parallel piece of wood. So that's what we want. So just to give you a clear idea of what we're talking about here, let me put this in the vise this way. It's a little bit more awkward for me, but better for you. I'm going to square my line across the top again, just to repeat what I did earlier. And I want to cut on this side of the line, so I'm going to do this so you can see it. So I'm parallel to that pencil line, and as I work down this side, I use this saw curve in the top to help steer the saw. Remember that those saw cuts, those opening saw cuts, the 10 strokes, are the, are the most important strokes. I turn around and I come from this side, I drop my hand like this, so I'm using the saw to steer it right along the line. So I'm parallel to the line as I go, I turn around now, I'm going to be parallel on the opposite face. That's how we saw straight, but always remember it's not always you that's wrong, sometimes it's the saw. If the saw is not sharp, if some teeth are sharp and some are not, if some teeth are set the wrong way, it can cause you to deviate from the line. So it's not always you. So sharp saw, well set saw, and then of course the grain itself can do that. If you come up alongside a knot, you can get some configuration in the grain that can cause you to deviate too. So I'm coming up on a knot down here and that might cause me to deviate. So I have to make sure I'm conscious of that as I go down progressing through the cut. One more turn around and then we'll be through that knot. And maybe it will cause me to deviate and maybe not. It has tightened up on the saw a great deal. What to do? So I just take my rag in a can oiler, oil the plate a little bit, like that, and that will help. It might, it won't eliminate all of the pressure. Can you see how that's tightened up at the top there? Definitely made a big difference to the saw then. Huge difference. Now I'm through it. That's how we, we saw a straight cut with a handsaw.